Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm curious, what do you wish you knew on the first day of making this movie that you didn't know? I wished I had had a little more heads up that there was a global pandemic coming our way and that we were all going to have to figure out how to make an animated feature from our living rooms together, but apart. Right. And, and actually, that leads me to something that I was going to ask, which is um, about the editing process, because often on animated movies, you go through a ton of revisions based on screenings. You know, you test the movie in so many different ways. How did that get impacted? Uh, like, how did that change, like learning what was working and not working when you normally put it in front of audiences? Yeah, I mean, the editing process in particular was one that took a lot of um, problem solving to to find a process that got us through. And we ended up doing it all through video like this over a, a digital platform. I think it, it was called Evercast. So our editor would be remoting into his system at the studio from home. And we would all be remoting into that session with to watch, to, to conduct an edit, edit session and, you know, make cuts, make revisions, make changes. But, you know, the, the challenge of that is that we're trying to create a big theatrical cinematic feature film for a massive theater screen, but we're all reviewing dailies and looking at edit sessions on our laptops at home. So there's no sense of, are we even achieving the scope we need to, to, to create this thing so that, you know, that was, it took a lot of faith and trust in the process and just waiting to get back into the theater to review these things months later. Um, so that, you know, that was a really interesting time to go through. I'm, I'm sure. Also, like I said, um, I've spoken to many different an uh, directors who've done animated movies and they talk about how the film can change so dramatically from when you start to what people are going to actually see. Did this film go through those kinds of massive changes or was it more like, little things that got tweaked along the way. Yeah, I would say it's probably somewhere in the middle. I think because when we all started, we knew we had a really tight deadline. We, from start to finish, our production was only two years in comparison to most animated films who have more than that. Um, so we had to start out being very efficient about our story and knowing where our characters were going. There were there were entire scenes that were in there at the beginning that got cut out for you know efficiency and storytelling. Uh, but for the most part, I think this one was probably pretty similar at the start to finish than most. Is there anything that you can share that like was a big revision or a big change that might surprise fans? There was one additional gigantic action excitement scene in the second act that we ended up cutting out because it was overshadowing the climax of our film. Uh, so for storytelling purposes, we, we toned that one down a little and just let act two climb and climb and climb until the craziness happened. Uh, so, you know, it was mostly changes like that, that we ended up making. So a number of directors and they talk about once it's been animated, you can't cut it. So how far into the process have you, did you cut something? Or do you know what I mean? Because there's, it costs a lot of money to animate a movie. Yeah, I think, you know, because of the idea that we had a two year schedule, we didn't start animating anything until we were 100 percent sure that it was going to end up in that final product. So there wasn't, a, there, you know, if it was anything, we were trimming one or two seconds off of the beginning or ends of shots just to make the cuts work nicer in editorial when everything was done. And uh, yeah, the efficiency for us on this project was key. I understand. What do you wish more people knew about the way, what it takes to make an animated movie? Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's a question that comes up a lot. And even the difference between making a live action movie making versus making an animated movie, it's the amount of involvement the director and the entire crew have to have as a collaborative team from the very beginning to the very end in every single department. I mean, I think the sheer scope of the, the crew that it takes to make it, I think we have something between four and 500 people in our end, end credits list, which is a massive undertaking. And the leadership, like me and my producer, my co-director have to have the, the vision and the stamina in order to keep all of those people motivated and working in the same direction towards the same goal. I think that's, it's, that's huge, a huge part of the job. What do you think is like something that 
technology might be able to overcome in the upcoming future to help make animated movies even better? Yeah, I, for me, it is, it's, you know, probably a mix of this evolution we've gone through, uh, a mix of working remotely versus working in the studio and allowing um, that flexibility, you know, and it, it's pretty amazing. Even from start to finish on this project, the platforms were, we were using were being molded and manipulated into something that we specifically needed for this project versus what can this, pro what can this platform do for another project? Uh, we were working with this really great um, program called Sync Sketch to review our animation dailies every day. And what that allowed was for a group of people to all be watching the same daily session while, fit, while interacting with the shots and doing drawovers, flipping from beginning to end or to the next sequence. So it was kind of like a real-time working session, but we were all not in the same physical space. It was, I feel like this evolution of technology is, is going to be so cool to watch people from all over the place be able to collaborate really closely on the same thing. No, that actually sounds really cool. And I could see how that would make it awesome. Um, I got to stop. I'm just going to say congrats on the movie. Hope it's a big hit for you. And Thanks you get to make so something much. again soon. Thanks so much. Maybe next time in person. <laughs> right, exactly.